Hey, I just want to bring something to your attention once again. But first, watch this. Naera Siremaku Kubagamba Oba Okubategeza Ntitugenda Mutsere Chizwenyo Erawa no Wengambira Ntitudamu Okukatiriza Ensonga Yokuno Nyeriza Ku Chitabantu Echari uo mnove mbanga kumina mnana Ne kumina mwena Kumina mwena Ensongeyo Yari nkuru nyo Nzendi musomi wa Bible Elavuli nkia Nsaba katonda Atukule mbele Atukua atireko Asulage kubo Kubanga nsandi sokuraba Echisera Echidja Okuba Nga Chikaru Ebi afa ebi Ubi enjo gedeko ebi hali wumu novemba Mbana Uganda dalabanji abafiru abantu babwe Elabanji bacha maziga Beta go humanya abataban to Babwe. One might disparage that information as old news. After all, the Kabaka of Uganda, Ronald Mwena Mutebi II, is talking about the ugly events that we saw on 18th and 19th November 2020. And uh, through his tweets, one of Uganda's best cartoonists, uh, that is Dr. Jimmy Spice St. Ongo, said that it, one way the NRM establishment or the government of Uganda is making sure that Ugandans do not keep track of major events is by feeding them with uh, a lot of minor events. So in that way, they forget the major events. So that's in one or the other. Why would someone dismiss it as, uh, I mean, old news? Uh, but this is what the Kabaka of Uganda is trying to say. It might seem as though he's asking one question, but he's asking actually five questions. One, who killed Ugandans more than 50 minimum? And how, how, how did we get to that conclusion of killing people because they were demonstrating the arrest of a presidential candidate? And why? Why were they killed? Let us understand case by case. President Museveni dismissed it as stray bullets. When will this stop? This wasn't the first time that we saw people being killed in broad daylight, murdered by security organs in Uganda. When does this stop? And lastly, what are you doing to stop this? What are you doing to those, to those people that committed these atrocities? That's what the Kabaka of Uganda is asking in what might seem as though he's asking one question. Those are the questions. But the funny thing about Uganda is uh, when you ask these questions, now they come after you. The bullies, those that commit these atrocities, they come after you. I mean, you know why? Because all bullies have known one thing, that you all have. They are as brutal as nothing and extremely fragile. So, they come after you, yet what they do is actually unspeakable. But I am here. We want to know these questions. Okay? Those are the questions. For God and my country. I am Mordecai Morisa.